not here to waste your time. We're gonna start with the least overpowered and work our way up to the most overpowered ability. Cockroach. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the hell can a cockroach do? This is the species that is most likely to survive the apocalypse. After all, they can withstand decapitation. Because of their hardness, cockroaches are the frequent subject of experimentation and researchers have found that they can live for many weeks without their heads. Cockroaches can survive beheading because they perform basic bodily functions much differently than mammals do. Rather than breathing through a mouth, they breathe through holes in their bodies called spiracles. They also have an open circulatory system where blood flows freely through the body, which keeps blood pressure low. This means that even a large cut to a vital organ won't cause a fatal loss of blood. It's also why they explode everywhere when you step on them. Super Blyerbird The Super Blyerbird is a large Australian songbird that's capable of mimicking nearly anything it hears. In the wild, they mostly mimic other birds, and a single lyrebird can imitate an entire flock of another species. Captive lyrebirds have been reported to mimic various noises including car alarms, chainsaws, camera shutters, and even flutes. Some of the most amazing sounds it makes, however, are not mimicry at all. The male lyrebird's maiden call includes a wide variety of clicks, thuds, and buzzes that sound mechanical to humans, but are learned from their parents. I mean, just look for yourself. Imagine if that's what we had to do to find love. Guy says, Hey, how you doing? Girl, Hey. Pangolin Known to be one of the most illegally trafficked animals in the world, the shy and elusive pangolin also stands out to be a wonder of the world. Their large, toughened scales cover their skin for protection, and they are the only known mammals with this feature. A startled pangolin will roll up swiftly into a ball, exposing its sharp scales, which can be compared to impenetrable battle armor. Also, their scales are made of keratin, the same material found in human fingernails, and surprisingly, their closest relatives are usually carnivores such as lions and tigers. Opossum Opossums usually have a serum protein in their blood that neutralizes some forms of snake venom. Studies suggest that this adaptation developed as opossums preyed on venomous snakes, creating an arms race of sorts between snakes, developing more complex toxins, and opossums evolving greater resistance to those toxins. Researchers have synthesized the protein chain that creates the immunity, and initial studies show it provided immunity to mice injected with rattlesnake venom as well. Scientists hope that this research could lead to inexpensive, effective antivenom for human snake bite victims. Wood Frog Meet the Wood Frog. This frog took a page out of Jesus Christ's book. What I mean by that is that this frog is the only living thing to rise from the dead by himself. The animal has somehow developed a bizarre way to hibernate during winter by freezing to death and returning to life in the spring. This creature can be found as far north as Alaska, where it survives winters by freezing for up to seven months straight. The frog's heart stops beating, and its respiration ceases, and biologically speaking, the frog is dead. So why like this for Mr. Frog? Frozen frogs have been found to have blood glucose levels up to 10 times higher than normal, which helps cells retain water despite the freezing temperatures. The frog essentially has a Fortnite reboot van with its own body. When warm weather returns, the wood frog begins to thaw out, and within just 14 to 24 hours, it's fully functional again. Bombardier Beetle When threatened, these beetles deploy a hot and noxious chemical spray from specialized glands in its abdomen. The spray is a result of a rapid and explosive chemical reaction between stored compounds, hydroquinone, and hydrogen peroxide. This reaction reaches temperatures of approximately 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit and produces toxic quinones, creating a deterrent that for humans could be very irritating if hit with it. But for other insects, not only is death imminent, it has the potential to melt its enemies due to the hot temperature. The Bombardier Beetle also has an aimbot equipped. It can precisely aim this defensive spray by rotating its abdomen like a military turret gun. Skunk if your only way to fend off predators is by being stink, then it means that smell must be doing its job well. We all know skunks stink, but I don't think you all truly understand how OP the smell is. If you ever ran across a dead animal, roadkill, or anything of the sort, you know how horrible it smells. Now, 
Imagine putting your face up close to the carcass and eating that dead animal. This is what possums do. They're scavengers. And even possums cannot stand the smell of skunk spray. And honestly, I don't blame the possums. Imagine if you're fighting another person and the other guy pulls down his pants and begins to aim his backside at you, threatening to let it rip. I would gladly pack my bags and evacuate the area as quickly as possible too. Axolotl When an axolotl loses a limb to a hungry predator, the missing appendage can regrow with bone, blood vessels, and muscles all intact. Scientists have isolated a small sequence of RNA in axolotl that is responsible for this regenerative ability. The axolotl is an aquatic salamander relative to just two lakes near Mexico City called Lake Xochimilco and Lake Chalco. Both lakes are remnants of a larger lake system that was drained as the human population in Mexico City grew. Today, the axolotl has been added to the list of critically endangered species due to habitat loss. Dung Beetle Probably the elephant of the insect world, the dung beetle is one of the strongest animals in the world capable of pulling 1,141 times its own body weight. That means the Bruh. cat is also on the menu of being lifted. It can be one of the most fascinating sights to see. Their incredible feats of strength are directly connected to their sex lives. Female dung beetles dig tunnels that males will explore in hopes of finding a mating opportunity. When two males find themselves in the same tunnel, they lock horns and attempt to push their rival away. You know what's surprising here? Is that not all males develop horns and superior strengths. Some sneaker males employ increased agility and sperm production as an alternative means to finding mating success. Sea Cucumbers The sea cucumbers can hide from predators by liquefying and solidifying their bodies at will. With this bizarre adaptation, they can pour themselves into cracks and crevices and then secure themselves in their hiding places by regaining their solid form. Its skin is made up of a unique type of collagen called mutable collagenous tissue that can stretch, slide, and reorient without being damaged. When sea cucumbers enter their rigid form, the tissue orients itself into a lattice structure. Electric Eel The electric eel is extremely overpowered. You probably already know it produces electricity to shock its prey. But what you probably didn't know is the electric eel has an organ that makes up about 80% of its body, containing thousands of electrolytes. These electrolytes help it generate electricity. It can also generate low voltage electric fields for electrolocation. Reaching up to 600 volts, the electric eel can incapacitate prey and make them easier to capture. Furthermore, this air-breathing fish showcases its adaptability by surfacing to breathe air, reflecting a unique respiratory system. Pistol Shrimp Now, if you've seen the movie Project Power, you would know what this thing is capable of. Go watch it. It's a pretty good movie. Anyways, these creatures have an oversized claw, and with that claw, they can open and shut it at an astonishing speed. The result is a stunning phenomenon known as Snapping Shrimp or Pistol Shrimp. This rapid closure of the claw produces a high-velocity water jet that can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour and temperatures comparable to the surface of the sun. The implosion of the cavitation bubble generates a shock wave and an intense burst of sound reaching levels of around 218 decibels, the loudest sound produced by any marine animal. All this just to hunt prey, which in my opinion is just straight up overkill, but to be fair, these things are small so I guess it needs something to compensate for its size. Immortal Jellyfish Now, if you watch mutant movies, then I bet you have some idea about what I'm going to confirm to you. This species is one of the most incredible on this list. The first shocking part about it is that it's immortal. A mature jellyfish can revert to its baby form called polyp through a process called transdifferentiation. It's a rare process in which mature, specialized cells that make up the jellyfish can revert to an entirely different structure. Aging, physical damage from predators, and adverse environmental conditions can all serve as triggers to start the process. Peregrine Falcon Now, I don't know what to say about this animal because this is overpowered as hell. So, let me put this in perspective for you. This is your average NASCAR speed. Yeah, uh... These birds can fly faster than that. The top speed of a NASCAR is 200 miles per hour or 321 kilometers per hour. These birds can fly up to 240 miles per hour or 386 kilometers per hour. 
They use the speed to ram other animals or take out their enemies in mid-air like a homing missile. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, just look at it. Tiger. Tardigrades. Tardigrades, often whimsically dubbed water bears, are microscopic water-dwelling animals. Now, despite their minuscule size, which ranges from 0.1 to 0.5 millimeters, tardigrades exhibit an unparalleled resilience to extreme environmental conditions, like space, intense radiation, extreme temperatures spanning from near absolute zero to boiling points. One of their most astonishing features is their ability to enter a state called cryptobiosis, during which they lose almost all water content and essentially shut down their metabolism. In this dormant state, tardigrades can withstand dehydration, radiation, and other inhospitable conditions for extended periods only to revive when environmental conditions become more favorable. Similar to the wood frog, but a wood frog can't survive in space. Their incredible adaptability, combined with a wide range of habitats, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, positions tardigrades as number one on this list. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, and remember, knowledge is power. Knowledge!